What's going on guys? TK back with another video. So it's been a while since I uploaded. I've been enjoying the holidays and my vacation, but still want to pump out some content here and there. So I thought, you know, why not talk about the Apex Dragon himself, Hydreigon. I think Garchomp is actually above, like just a, like slightly above in usage, but I I'm pretty sure Hydreigon is like type four. I think it's like Garchomp at 26% and Hydreigon's at like 20, so 22 or 23 or 24 or something, something like that. But this thing is crazy, so I'm gonna talk about him. But before we get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, let's jump into the content. So, um, Hydreigon has like incredible stats and an incredible move pool, right? So, it, it's like one of them, one of them mons, like mons you can just put on your team, and it'll fit into any team. You can run screens, you can throw Hydreigon in there. You can run hyper offense, you can throw Hydreigon in there. You can run balance, you can throw Hydreigon. It doesn't matter what the team is. He he has incredible burst damage, incredible like typing, incredible terrestrialization potential, incredible stats, incredible move pool. He's like good in every metric of the way. I remember like he really kind of fell off be like at six gen or whatever and stuff like that because the fairy typing was created. But now with terrestrialization, if there's a fairy type in your way, just change types, you know. So Hydreigon is a, is a monster, bro. And like he can run things like this is like usually the sample set they run. They run like Protect and then they run like Dark Pulse. And then they run either like Terra Blast or Heat Wave or, you know, Flash Cannon, depending on usually what, um, what Terrestrialize, Terrestrialization they choose. So let's go for this example. They run like, you know, Dark. It's usually a mixture of Dark. I've seen some Fairy too, but it's usually the most common types are like Dark, Poison, and, and uh, Fire. And the reason I say poison, poison is actually a really good terror type for Hydreigon because Hydreigon gets the ability called levitate. Poison is only weak to psychic and ground. Well, when you're levitating, you're you're already immune to one of those weaknesses, which is ground. And then when you're a poison type, if you're weak to psychic, remember Hydreigon is initially a, a dark Pokemon. So they're not gonna just use a psychic move on you straight up. It's too risky to do that. Once they terrestrialize, yes, then they can use psychic moves. But remember, Hydreigon is, has dark stab, so you can still threaten psychic types with dark posts and, and whatever like that, right? So poison is actually, it's kind of like a pseudo no weakness kind of deal, right? So poison is actually a good terror type one, but fire is good too, because fire actually, poison, fire, and still get rid of his fairy weakness which is his big which is the big drawback of his original typing right so and, and he has good like support moves he, he gets like fire blast heat wave or good fire type moves fire blast heat wave if you don't want to run heat wave and fire blast because of the mischance or whatever you can run flamethrower too just a you know lower base power and heat wave is, is is aoe you don't get the you don't get that with flamethrower but um at least it's accurate and it's, it has pretty good base power in 90 so um yeah so those are the most those are the most common ones and then they usually run life orb the burst damage with draco meteor life orb is crazy everybody's getting you know annihilate running the ladder right now but hydreigon a max special attack like like even jolt or even timid you know like top uh, this is usually the build you see like keep it standard and, and it's, it's funny because like usually you are like people like you gotta optimize your ev spread you don't bro, with hydreigon you gotta optimize nothing max speed max special attack unless you're running screens you're running like assault vest and maybe you want to crunch the numbers a little bit max speed max special attack that man is going to work man he going to work you can like take off protect he can even run he even has speed control he gets tailwind so you can even use him as speed control you can just drop protect and run a tailwind but um yeah, the burst damage with Draco Meteor plus Life Orb Hydreigon is is crazy. He's, he's he could tear through Annihilate, you know. Um, you gotta be careful though. You don't want to take that Drain Punch when he's like in his Dark type, whatever. I mean, after like one bulk up, I think Drain Punch can like okay or you. Uh, you might be able to count for that. Maybe put a little bit of defense, but whatever. Hydreigon is incredible. But um, there's a whole bunch of sets. You can run like Assault Vest and you can do like Snarl. I seen this. I used to use this a lot. Like it would be like Snarl, and then obviously you can't run uh you can't run Protect or whatever. But you can do like Heat Wave. You can do like Terra Blast. Or let's say, I, like I ran a set like this on a rain team. Like you do like Flash Cannon and then uh, like Terrestrial Steel, something like that. And then, um, you know, I always opt in Draco Meteor. Like if you don't, because Draco Meteor has that one drawback, it, or it has two drawbacks. It's like, it's not 100% accurate and it does lower your, your special attack by two stages, but the, the power is insane. 130 base power stab, dragon move. Like, come on, that that's tearing through a lot of things. But if you don't want to do that, you can run Dragon Pulse, you know. 85 base power but then you don't get any drawbacks right and then obviously you always want dark pulse in there in some way but oh yeah like i said like this and then maybe you can opt maybe you got the mods a little bit like you know <laughs> like maybe you don't do spe max special attack maybe you do like some bulk here to optimize for the assault vest or whatever it just depends on your team you know but or you can just run choice scarf you know i like choice scarf too. catch the catch the guard chumps off you know 
because the guard chomp, a guard chomp or a salamance or whatever, they outspeed Hydreigon. But choice scarf, Draco Meteor will catch them off guard, and then you can you can just one shot. It will one shot them eh? unless they terrestrialize. It's one shot them. Even if they do terrestrialize, I think it's still. I don't know. Like it, they would have to be like kind of bulky or whatever. But uh, it's, I think Sal. I don't know. I, I don't really know the counts like that. But if they don't terrestrialize, they're dying basically. Like they, there's no way they're surviving that from a Hydreigon. Hydreigon has base 125 special attack. So um, yeah. Like you can run, a, you can run a salt vest, choice scarf. You can run scopelins. I've been seeing that around. Like they run like uh, it's pretty cool because they can. You can run like heat wave, right? And heat wave is it's a spread move. But then you run like Draco meteor, and then you run like focus energy, right? So you run scopelins or you run like razor claw. Either one, either one. Um, and then what happens is once you focus energy, once you start Draco meteor, when you crit. The drawback doesn't matter, right? You could be minus four as long as you crit. It doesn't. It like your drawback. It, it doesn't matter. It, it like your 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 minus stats won't take away from the Draco Meteor's power as long as you're critting. So basically, you run Razor Claw and Focus Energy, and then you you will always be critting your Heat Waves. And you will always be critting your your Draco Meteors. So uh, that's an option. Like that's just power right there. And then they run like you can run like Hobbenberry too. So like let's say you win the mirror match, right? And the high dragon you're fighting is gonna it's gonna press Draco Meteor. Or maybe you're fighting some any kind of dragon, like Guard Chump Choice Band, Dragon Claw takes you out, or whatever, right? Uh, you can run Hob Hobbenberry to half the half the damage from the dragon type move, right? So let's say you lose let's say your high dragon is the same stat spread as the opposing high dragon, and he uh he Drake he wins the speed to he Draco Meteors you will Hobbenberry will cut that cut that damage in half you'll survive and then you'll drink a meteor back and then you'll beat his high dragon because it might be like standard life orb or or something along those lines right um and so you'll survive the draco meteor and he'll die to the draco meteor and then now you still have your high dragon attack so um yeah man high dragon is a is a beast this thing this thing is crazy with terrestrialization he just he just he's a good candidate for terrestrialization his move pool like he has such great attacks and such great support moves that he just he just he just stands, he's an S tier. He stands above them all, you know. He can lose that. Fairies ran through him, but now that you get terrestrialized into poison, steel, or 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 fire, it's like, now what? You know, that's why you see a lot of Sylveons, they're out there for, <laughs> they're going water now. Not just for Hydreigon, but you see a lot of water Sylveons, because it's like, okay, if Hydreigon's going to terrestrialize into fire, I'm just going to terrestrialize into water. Or they do it for Annihilate, too, because a lot of Annihilates are fire right now. So the Sylveons are like, all right, I'm not going to fire Sylveon anymore. I'm going water Sylveon because I know they're going to turn into fire. So I'm just going to I'm going to counter their counter by terrestrializing the water. But what it does is it forces like you have to terrestrialize in front of Sylveon anyway because it's too scary unless you switch. But it kind of forces terrestrialization on their end, too. Right. So uh, it's like a. You know, it's a double-edged sword in a sense, but if you force the resolution, it's kind of like a win-win. But you would have to do it too. Maybe, maybe if you if they see that you're fire or on their side, like if it's open team sheet tournament, and it's like they start with Sylveon, they're like, okay, I know he's gonna terrestrialize here, so they terrestrialize into water. But you counter that by just switching out the Hydreigon, all right? And now they're stuck at they they use their terrestrialization for something you might be able to counter. You know, it's it's all mind games at the end of the day, but. Terrestrialization just makes this Pokemon so much better, right? Just because you can lose the bad typing or the bad weakness to Fairy that Hydreigon has always had. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So, if you like, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, peace.